An urgent warning for pet owners. You need to think twice before letting your dog take a dip in a lake or even a pond. And last night we told you about a dangerous algae taking over a popular St. Charles County dog parks pond. Well, the heat and humidity is bringing other threats to the surface. First Lord Forest, Caroline Hecker is in Clayton with what you should know. Well, good evening, guys. Experts tell me with the heat, humidity, like you've said, and really the overall lack of rainfall, it is only a matter of time before we see more of this toxic bacteria likely popping up in area ponds and lakes. A refreshing dip in a nearby pond or lake is a quick way to beat the heat, but what might be brewing on the surface could be deadly. Still waters and stagnant waters are very slow moving waters are ideal for it to develop. That's because blue green algae is a type of bacteria, one that can kill pets, livestock and people. St. Charles County Parks Department says it was found in water at the Brummel Slick Dog Park on Monday, prompting its closure. But experts say it could be lurking in other bodies of water undetected. If you see some kind of blue on the surface, something that looks like algae or paint or scum or foam. It's best just to stay away from it altogether. Dr. Angela Garcia says pets don't have to drink the water to get sick. Merely being in the water can be enough. So they can lick themselves and just being on their skin, just the absorption that way, those toxins are very potent. She also says other bacteria and viruses thrive in the hot weather with the number of respiratory infections in many pets surging with the heat. With the humidity, it's harder to breathe, and so some of these pets, if they have an underlying respiratory infection, that could really exacerbate those symptoms. Now, coming back to the algae topic, keep in mind there are perfectly healthy algae. The problem is it's hard to distinguish, if not impossible, between what that looks like and the bacteria. Also keep in mind, though, many counties and cities actively monitor their bodies of water, and they tell me they're keeping a very close eye uh, on this issue as we continue to see these hot temperatures. Now, when it comes to your pets, Dr. Garcia says if they start showing any kind of sickness symptoms, get them to the vet immediately. This can be deadly within a few hours. Now, where is the relief? That's the big question. It's kind of a double edged sword. Rainfall, like it sounds like we might see tonight, can help dilute some of this, but it also feeds some of the runoff, which is exactly what this bacteria feeds on. We're live in Clayton tonight. Caroline Hecker, First Alert 4.